Hello everyone, it's Nicole from Curb Bookkeeping Services and today I am going to walk you through a really easy way to reclassify transactions in QuickBooks. So I'm going to go ahead and open my QuickBooks file. Um, I'm using QuickBooks Accountant 2013 and to use one, this tool you need to have QuickBooks Accountant because this tool is found in the Accountant Center. When using a QuickBooks Accountant, you have a new tab which is labeled Accountant. If you're using Pro or Premier, you're not going to have this tab. So go ahead and click on Accountant and then Accountant Center. And here are all of our great Accountant Center tools. If you're using QuickBooks Accountant and you haven't checked out these tools, I highly recommend that you do because batch enter transactions, it's great. It really helps speed up productivity, especially when you're entering historical data. So before I go into our reclassify transaction tool, I'm going to run a quick profit and loss by class report to see if everything is as it should be or if something is out of whack. Since it is a sample company file, um, I do have to use future date ranges. So first I can see we have unclassified um, design income. This is actually new construction, so we're going to want to move that. Um, I can also see that we have a remodel um, that should be overhead and an unclassified that should be overhead. We also have a weird account here, um, automobile-other. This is an account that was not a created by a user. This was created by QuickBooks when a user posted a transaction or transactions in the main automobile account. Since we are using subs, you want to make sure that you post in one of the sub accounts. If you post in the main account, QuickBooks is going to automatically generate an account like this. So if we posted in the main insurance account, it would have an insurance dash other account. Since we did automobile, it's automobile-other. So we're going to need to take those transactions, post them to the correct class, which is overhead, and also move them to the correct account. So now I'm going to go back to the Accountant Center and open up Reclassify Transactions. Before we get started, we're going to want to change some of the, our view options so that all of the transactions we need to see come up in our little view window. So first is the date range. This is the date range that I'm going to select. I'm also going to select cash. If you need to select accrual, you can do that too, but for this example, we're going to go ahead and view cash. You then have three options for what accounts you want to view. Expense accounts, profit and loss accounts, or balance sheet accounts. Since I want to change both an income account and an expense account, I'm going to go ahead and select profit and loss. Now when I select on our income accounts, still nothing is coming up. When I select our expense accounts, tr lots of transactions are coming up. The reason for this is because it's currently defaulting on show transactions that are non-item based. Since my invoices are item based, the transactions are not coming up. So I'm going to need to change that by going to the drop down and selecting either item based or all. So I'm going to go ahead and select all. And there's just one more thing you might want to click. I don't need it for this example, but you may need it um, when you're working with the reclassify transaction tool. As you can see, none of our insurance accounts are coming up. And the reason for this is because the include journal entry box is not checked. Once we check that, all of our journal entries appear. And since journal entries can be misclassed, I do like to have them come up. Just so I can see. We already know when we ran our profit and loss by class though, that all of the insurance accounts are correct, so we don't need to do anything there. The first thing we need to do is take this $1,000 and move it into new construction. If you go to click, it's going to not let you. And I'm not really sure why it does this, but the way that you fix that is just by selecting item based. Now I can change it. So I'm going to click the transaction that we need to class. 
and go ahead and click Class 2. With item-based transactions, you obviously can't change the account since they're using items and not accounts. You can only change the class. And I'm going to change this to New Construction. Then click Reclassify. And now it's classed as it should be. I'm going to then move into our main automobile account and go back to viewing all transactions. So this is the main account, so all of these transactions will need to be moved. So I know offhand that these two are fuel, or these three I should say are fuel, and these two are insurance. So let's start with the insurance. The first thing we need to do is move them to the correct account. And then we also need to class them correctly. So I'm going to first select the correct account we're going to class them to. And then I'm also going to type in the correct um, class. And then click Reclassify. And then they're going to move into the insurance account. Now all that's left is our fuel. I'm going to select all. These are also misclassed. So I'm going to only select our new account. It's going to default to overhead, which is the last account used, which is fine. And now that moves that. Now when we run our profit and loss by class report, it's looking a lot better. We don't have an unclassified income. We don't have a, an automobile-other account. And all of our automobile transactions are now in overhead. So I hope that helped you find a way to reclassify transactions easy and efficiently. As always, if you have a question or comment, please leave it below. Um, we like to do posts on questions we get from readers and viewers. So please leave any comments you might have or any requests for videos or posts that you want to see. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for some more videos.